Hello everyone! I've got a very quick weird book showcase for you today. I came across this book a few months ago while just checking in books at the library and it just sounds delightful so I have to share it. Ruth Ware very aptly describes this book as a pitch-perfect murder mystery. If the crown were crossed with Miss Marple, the result would probably be something like this. So the book in question is none other than The Winds Are Not by S.J. Bennett. So this is a delightful, cozy mystery novel where our main character and our detective who is trying to solve the crime is none other than Her Majesty the Queen of England herself. Throughout the book, she is referred to exclusively as either she or the Queen. <laughs> and we also get a little bit of a perspective from her assistant private secretary named Rosie. So we get both of those perspectives throughout the book, and I believe the mystery in this book that the Queen is trying to solve is death by autoerotic asphyxiation, apparently. <laughs> but it's very um, wholesome and pure <laughs> from everything that I can tell. And the Queen during this book is uh, just a few months shy of her 90th birthday, I believe. It is the early spring of 2016, and Queen Elizabeth is at Windsor Castle in advance of her 90th birthday celebrations. But the preparations are interrupted by the shocking and untimely death of a guest in one of the castle bedrooms. The scene leads some to think the young Russian pianist strangled himself, yet a badly tied knot leads MI5 to suspect foul play. I'm intrigued! <laughs> so, so this seems like a very light-hearted mystery, and... It'll be a delight when I one day get to read the whole thing. So this book is part of a series called Her Majesty the Queen Investigates, which means that if after you read this book, you're just on the edge of your seat wanting more, you can head right on over to book number two, which is called All the Queen's Men. Or I've seen an alternate title, uh, Three Dog Night, something like that. So it's possible it could be one of either of those. I wasn't able to get my hands on the newest book because it was actually just released at the end of 2021. And it sometimes takes a while for my library to get brand new books in, so we don't have it just yet, but I'm sure we will very soon. So that's it, The Winds Are Not. Uh, let me know if you plan to read this or if you've already read it. And if you did read it, let me know what you thought. Have a great day. Bye.